XTTS is a voice generation model and in this video we're going to learn how to run that model on Google Collab and create your own voice cloning system with just 3 seconds of clip. Once again, just a disclaimer, this is not the most perfect solution. If you expect a 11 labs like solution, you need to go to 11 labs. But this is a solution that is kind of open, but I wanted to actually dive deeper into the license, which again, once again, goes to my bigger question about what is open source license in the world of AI. But before we dive into the license and all these things, let's learn a little bit about this model in itself. Koki has got its own name in this particular world. Whether it is text to speech or whether it is voice cloning, they've got their own name in this particular domain. Very well known name, very, very well respected name. They've got their own studio application, which is like their paid offering, which you can use to do the same with uh, GUI, graphical user interface. And their tortoise model is one of the most powerful models that everybody almost loves for voice generation. So now enter a new model called XTTS. It's a voice generation model that can let you clone voices in different languages just using a quick 30 second audio clip. All you need is like a, sorry, three second audio clip, my bad. All you need is a three second audio clip and you would be able to clone a voice. In fact, I tried it with my regular Jordan B. Peterson's voice and I felt it did good. Before we see the demo, if you see this particular model, according to them, this is built on top of their existing researchers like Tortoise with just additional innovations in architectural innovations just to make sure that this model can work cross language voice cloning and also multilingual speech generation. So this is the same model that powers their Koki APA and Koki Studio. So which means this is kind of the paid offering that they have enabled for you to use it. Once again, I am intentionally not using the word open source. Very soon you will understand why that is the case. This is a Gradio demo, which is very straightforward to use it. You can go here and upload an audio clip here. After you upload an audio clip, you can just select the text that you want and click generate submit. Uh, you have to agree for the terms. Once you do that, click submit and then you will see the output, which I'll quickly show you. In terms of the model in itself, you can go here and then read more about the model. But basic information, the model supports 13 languages as of now. It's the first version of the model. English, Spanish, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Polish, Turkish, Russian, Dutch, Czech, Rap, Arabic, and Chinese. So these are the languages that it currently supports. And it uh, creates audio in 24 kilohertz. I think it's kilohertz, right? 24 k, k hertz. Uh, sampling rate and uh, multilingual speech generation, cross language, voice cloning, emotion and style transfer. This is all the advantages of this. Before we see the demo, there is a catch that I would like to take you through. This model is licensed under a license called Koki Public Model License. And they are going to, they also have given you like an origin story about how this model license came into picture. So I would strongly encourage you to read it. What they are calling this is, Model licensing is broken and why they are offering you this new license is what they are actually giving you. I would let you read this thing. Definitely, I'll link it in the YouTube description. You can go ahead, read it yourself. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let you judge them. I'm not going to do that job. But if you see this particular license, this model is available only for non-commercial purpose. And now they go into the details about what is a non-commercial purpose. First of all, Non-commercial purpose means you should not use either the model or its output for anything in which you get a direct or indirect payment. So that means I don't think you can use it for YouTube videos. I don't think you can use it as a voice actors replacement. And I don't think you can use it even for fine tuning and create a different model. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a legal expert. If you're watching this video, please correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think you can use any of this output or the model for anything in which you can get money. I'm not sure if donations accept it. What does personal use mean? Personal use means research, experiment, testing for the benefit of public knowledge, personal study, private entertainment, hobby projects, amateur pursuits, or religious observance. Now, what are all not, not commercial? Again, once again, they go into the detail. Either used by a commercial or for-profit entities for testing, evaluation, Non-commercial research and development that is not covered. That is also not a non-commercial. That means it's almost like a commercial purpose. Use of the model to train other models for commercial use is also a not non-commercial purpose. That means closer to commercial purpose. 
used by any charitable organization for charitable purpose quote unquote i don't know what charitable organizations and charitable purposes are being referred here but let's say for testing or evaluation used for revenue generating activities including projects directly funded by government grants is not a non commercial purpose that means it's also not available or not allowed for you to do it and it also comes with the strong license like a strict obligations for you to go ahead with bottom line it doesn't let you use it for non commercial purpose the good thing is it goes into details about what is non commercial but this i'm not sure like how this is open source i i know for sure that they've got this own story that explains why model licensing is broken and they are going to get into the details of how you know how they are trying to fix it all these things like like i said like i'm not going to judge them i'm going to let you do it i have a huge respect for the company koki um they are for the work of uh, text to speech in this particular space and that is exactly why i am making this video even though it the licenses to be honest like quite um, quite a quite a strongly non commercial license anyways if you want to use this there are two different ways for you to use it one you can go ahead literally start using the gradio demo that is available or you can use it with code examples as well but what i'm going to tell you is how to run this on google collab i have made a sample space for you folks from the existing uh, the main uh, hugging face spaces i'll link the collab notebook in the youtube description for you to st get started straight away without any issues so all you have to do is go ahead run this first one which is going to clone the space then enter into this uh, folder then install all the requirements the requirements are quite simple one you're going to install the library and the second one you're going to install gradio after you do both then once the installation is completed which is going to take a lot of time then you are going to run the app.py file when you run the app.py file first thing it's going to do is it's going to download the model the default model which is the tts multilingual multi data set xtts version 1 model as you can see it takes a bit of time to download it once the model is downloaded one second they remind you to check the model license which is something good i appreciate it then you are going to get a public gradio url once you click the gradio url you are going to be greeted with this interface where you have uh, the text prompt and you have the language that you can select and you have the reference audio that you can add so i have added the J jordan b peterson's voice that i have been using to test so i'm going to play the audio for you to get an understanding about how the original audio looks like you're trying to impress the people that are there and you're trying to get them to like you and so you at this point you have an idea about how the original audio looks like it's a very very simple for you to clone this voice and very straight forward all you have to do is go ahead click this agree terms of conditions once you do that click submit after you click submit it is going to take very less amount of time in fact like i'm going to just click submit for you to know it and you have to give the input text as well in this particular case the input text says hi there i'm your new voice clone try your best to upload quality audio like my grandma used to say garbage in garbage out click submit once you click submit you can see how much time it takes because you are running this on your own google collab notebook you don't have to wait on the queue unlike a uh, hugging face spaces it has quoted 30 seconds but it probably will take a little bit more than 30 seconds but once this is done you will get the mp3 or wave file the audio file for you to download and also you are going to get the visual form so you can download either the audio file right click this save the video or you can click this and download the wave audio file let me play this 9 second clip for you to understand how does it sound hi there i'm your new voice clone try your best to upload quality audio like my grandma used to say garbage in garbage out so very similar like the bark video that we saw last time it has certain nuances that i do not perfectly like it for example it gives a lot of pauses the tone of the audio changes a lot the tempo is not very uniform and also as a matter of fact sometimes it adds garbage into it but despite all these things i still believe the audio cloning quality is really good for a solution that is not computationally very intensive but also this is a zero shot voice cloning like we literally took the model out of box and then we try to do it the fine tuning should already get better result that's what i learned on twitter so you can fine tune and get a better result but i think like honestly like I think my bar is quite low so I personally prefer the audio that that is available here even when we covered the bark with Koki I liked the audio a lot of people had pointed out to me that they did not like it 
but I kind of liked it. So once again, I think the Jordan B. Peterson's voice has been perfectly or close to almost has met most of the expectations, which is one of my fundamental life principles at this point. So met most expectations and you know, it's, it's, it's easy to use. Um, <laughs> but the real question for me is um, not how to use it, uh, just what to do with this after I use it one, because I cannot use it for anything that is going to help me make money uh, because I think Koki wants you to use their studio if you want to make money or use their AP if you want to make money. Uh, I think it's fair uh, for them to expect this thing. So let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it. Uh, I think this, this tutorial is not just a straightforward tutorial. I apologize for having some certain philosophical discussion in the middle of it. But I would uh, honestly would love to hear from you what do you think about this new approach and also what do you think about this model genuinely like did you like it or did you not like it um, you can also try with this all these existing examples and then see how does it work but um, yeah uh, this is koki xtts a new voice generation model that lets you clone voices into different languages by using just a three second audio clip i link my previous voice cloning tutorial just here at the end of this video please check it out see you in another video happy prompting